In this video, you'll learn when and how best to use the disc video transition, which looks something like this. This series of short videos teaches you how to master and use transitions correctly by explaining the fundamental theory and the ground rules for each transition type, giving you all the confidence to use transitions in your video productions. When used correctly, video transitions can add a whole new dimension to your content creation and make your videos look professional, just like a boss. But be careful. Overdoing transitions or using them in the wrong way can have the opposite undesirable effect. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on any of the cool videos we'll be releasing and help you use transitions like a pro. Okay, let's get on with the details. So the disc transition is one category of transition that can be used to indicate a quick passage of time between two sequential scenes. The disc transition lets the viewer know that a short period of time has elapsed between an initial establishing or action shot and a follow-up scene or action that takes place moments later. Let's check it out and you see what I mean. So in this example, our story starts off with a clip of a giant wave in the sea. This gives the viewer an idea of where the story is set and how massive these waves are. We can then apply the disc transition and introduce our character riding one of these huge waves for an immediate and dramatic action scene in the story. Wow, that's pretty cool, right? So just by applying the disc transition, we can show the viewer a quick passage of time between two sequential scenes. The disc transition can be used in a lot of other different situations where you want the viewer to follow along as different action takes place. Another good use of the disc transition is in cooking or recipe videos for YouTube channels where you can show the different stages of a cooking recipe by applying the disc transition. So go ahead, start applying the disc transition to your sequences and you will definitely impress your viewers. So I hope you found this video useful and if you haven't done so, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. Speak to you in the next video.